things are finally happening yeah. again. Aviation yeah, yeah, is coming you? back to life. And today I'm flying the world's first official hybrid airline, Air Premier from Korea. Lean back and let me introduce to you what a hybrid carrier is all about. Guys, beautiful good afternoon from Seoul. And Korea is home to some brilliant airlines such as Asiana or Korean Air. But since last week, there is a new player in the game called Air Premier, which I'll be flying to Singapore today. So let's go, let's check in, and let's see what this new hybrid airline is all about. Thank you. Hi, how are you? Very good. Is the flight full today? Uh, maybe 80%. A little bit far from the departure area. Yeah, but still have time, yeah? Eh? Exactly. Thank you. Thank you so much. You have a lovely day. Bye bye. So just checked in for my Air Premier flight, uh, got a window seat, very, very lovely check-in agent. Uh, she was very kind, very helpful. Uh, that's what we want, right? So um, off to a good start. Now let's head airside. As of August 2022, Air Premier is only operating a single route and this is on a daily service to Singapore. However, the airline is planning services to Thailand as well as Vietnam in the near future. It was also nice to see that Incheon Airport is getting busy again, offering plenty of flights, making it one of Asia's busiest hubs again. So it only took five minutes to go through customs and security. And I don't think I've ever asked this question on this channel, but Incheon is probably one of my favorite airports in the world. What is yours? Let me know in the comment section below. So, but you're probably asking yourself, what exactly is a hybrid airline? Well, it's a mix between a traditional full service carrier and a low cost budget airline. So imagine Air Asia and Singapore Airlines have a baby. The result would probably be Air Premier. So I just made it to the gate at the very far end of Incheon. And if there's something we need to talk about, it's mask. I spent two days in South Korea and the obsession people have here with wearing a mask, it's out of the world. Whether it's outside, inside, whether they eat, I, I believe they even sleep with masks on. They're so obsessed. To be honest, in the beginning of the pandemic, I was all for it. It helped to contain uh, the virus, it saved lives, and it was a must until we figured out how to fight this pandemic. Now we have vaccines, our immune system got super used to it, and in most of the world, there's no mask mandate anymore. In most European, European airlines, you can fly without a mask going back to normal, which I think is very important. And it's so nice to see, to go back to what it used to be. Though here in South Korea, and I love Korea, I love, love coming to South Korea. It's such a beautiful, fascinating country. I don't understand where this obsession with a mask come from. We are, we have antibodies, we have all we need to go back to normal, right? And when I see this, I also find it worrying because they accept it as a normal. And it shouldn't be, life shouldn't be about restrictions. You know, I'm all for it when, when we need to protect each other, it's all fine. But also when I see this trend here in South Korea, I think it's very questionable. But this is my uh, opinion and I really would love to hear yours. I know there is a lot of people who have very different extreme opinions, mellow opinions. Some are really for it, some are really against it. Some believe masks don't help, some think they save lives. Um, and if you can really have a respectful conversation and debate in the comment section about it, I would love to hear your point of view, you know, whatever it is, I'd love to hear it. So let me know in the comment section below what you think about 
this. Other than that, I am very much looking forward to board the 787 of Air Premier to Singapore. It's going to be probably a very nice uh, experience. Can you have a flight? Thank you, thank you. So let's go, let's board Air Premier to Singapore. Hi, how are you? Hello, it's uh, Tindipa Imbijing from you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And guys, here we are. Sorry. Welcome on board Air Premier 787-9 Dreamliner. Also the sole plane they are operating at the moment. It features 56 seats in a premium economy class and 253 in a standard economy class in a 333 configuration. So guys, and here we are, welcome on board Air Premier 787-9 Dreamliner. Um, a very friendly crew at uh, the gate. I was blown away by that smile, which I couldn't see through the mask, but I know it was there. And uh, wow, looks new, looks fresh. The legroom situation is sensational. Fantastic legroom situation. A massive screen uh, right in front of me. Um, there is a foldable table. It's comfortable, it's nice, it is what you expect from an airplane that has only been in service for a week. It smells good, uh, everything, everything really seems to be right here um, on, this, on this Streamliner so far. So let me give you a quick little seat tour as well. The seat features a big screen in front of you, but before you get all excited, the airline only features Korean movies. However, if you do speak Korean, headphones and a blanket are ready at your seat. The seat also comes with a USB slot and a universal power outlet. Though the real highlight is the legroom situation, featuring 35 inches of freedom. For example, Emirates only had 32, or Lufthansa offering 29 inches only. Not bad if you ask me. So, and let's see what the recline situation is like. So whenever you have an overnight flight in economy class, the most important thing is a good headrest, as this one. So I just recently experienced that again when I was flying Lion Air and there was no headrest at all on an overnight flight. You just can't sleep. The safety video was shown and we were then pushed back for our 5 hour journey to Singapore. Now it's also a good time to check out my Patreon page if you want to support my work for cool extra perks such as access to my WhatsApp group, early access to my videos or to get your Cahill keyring. Link is in the description box below. Thank you! Once we reached cruising altitude, the Wi-Fi was turned on for everyone to access, if you're willing to pay a fee in exchange. It wasn't necessarily cheap, however, I found the $3 text option to be a good deal to stay connected with your friends. As a hybrid airline, food and water was included in your fare, but if you desire any soft drinks or alcoholic beverages, you need to pay for that. So we are an hour into the flight and uh, the dinner service has started. Um, there was a choice between um, pasta or um, beef rice with a beautiful side salad of prawns. I love the presentation. I love how it looks a little bit different, the shape, the form. It's recyclable material as well, so it's not just a one-use stuff. It's going to get used uh, again and again, which is good for the environment, very eco-friendly. And uh, now, portion-wise, looks pretty good as well. Now let's see what it tastes like. The meal was excellent, and now it's time for the infamous Lou review. So here we are, welcome to the mandatory new review on the 787, probably the first on YouTube as well. Uh, had a great dinner service, loved the portion, great quality meal, uh, crew was really lovely. 
um, overall this is a really really lovely economy class especially the legroom makes a huge difference seats are very very comfortable so overall I'm very very satisfied it's a great product and uh, yeah I mean that's what you want to see right there's so many airlines these days joining the market and they all want to be cheap right but I think this is did I lock <laughs> I was wondering if I, <laughs> if I locked the lure or not it's nice to see an airline coming and joining the market and trying to be generous and trying to give something um, just like Starlux two years ago trying to be luxurious offering a quality product while most of the airlines that you see right now just last week Akasa or whatever cheap 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 budget 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 low cost low cost low cost and this is a really nice product it's a nice compromise I I'd say so um, yeah this is it um, I'm probably gonna like uh, relax a little bit and uh, probably talk to you guys later when we touch down in Singapore and I was like super excited about returning to Singapore where I used to live pretty much before the pandemic and it has been two and a half years it's my first time coming back and uh, so it's gonna be quite emotional so very much looking forward to a weekend in, in, in Singapore but now let's not block the loo any longer and let's head back to my seat After getting a bit of work done on board, we started our approach and descent into Singapore Changi Airport for an arrival well ahead of schedule. Well done! back in Singapore quite emotional about it so uh, let's summarize today's flight though Air Prima is an amazing airline loved it loved the hybrid concept uh, what stood out the most for me was the legroom situation um, as well as the catering it was really really good the crew was fantastic it was overall a really good experience obviously uh, when it comes to entertainment there's nothing for like a, as a Western option, uh, but go download some movies on your iPad or your computer or your phone. But other than that, I can strongly recommend that. So I can really strongly recommend the airline, and I think they be if they expand into LA and um, the other destinations in Southeast Asia. What their plan is with that product, I can see that succeed. Why not? really really lovely really impressed anyways this is it i'm gonna go and enjoy my weekend in singapore uh, before flying singapore airlines on the 737 max in business class on the turn seat on sunday that's gonna be another great flight i can so guys wherever you're off to have a safe trip